I figured uh, maybe backing you guys up would let you see a little better. So did a little bench cleanup because it is a mess. And uh, I figured maybe you could see a little more. Uh, I got some parts. I got a bumper for the Rancho. I should have more parts for the Rancho here in a couple days. Let's check out this bumper. So here's the Rancho. I did buy a forward motor mount, uh, a carbon, carbon, uh, corrupt carbon. I bought a corrupt carbon and it's going to move. It'll move the motor, but then all my mounting points as far as the motor are going to change. I don't know if it's going to be beneficial. Let's put it that way. Cause the motor is already far enough forward and the transmission right now clears. It sits right in between the upper links. So I could go over a little bit and spin everything 180 and then put the, basically the motor will be even farther forward, which is good, I guess. Uh, but I don't know if it's worth, once I spin everything around, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know how far it'll move it. Um, and I don't really know what it's gonna do, but let's try and throw this bumper on. <laughs> got that on um this is just like a little china bumper i was gonna make something and i actually ordered these brackets so if this doesn't work then i will end up making something but these went on sale on ebay i think i got this for like ten dollars and two dollars shipping so for 12 bucks and i figured uh, yeah, i mean i can't really beat that it's already got it's already done and it's 12 dollars and it doesn't look bad at all. Uh, let's see here. It'll sit probably something about like that, which is not centered and I'm fully aware. However, what I do like is the front tires are going to pivot around the front of the body. Obviously they need clearance. So I'll come up probably right around where the headlights are and cut this flare out a little or something. I'm not hundred percent sure how much I'll do, but if I set the body back a little bit, and kind of almost center up the rear wheels and shove the front real far forward. This actually just ends up pivoting around here. So when it flexes, it'll just be up in here. Up in here, up in here. Obviously I might not go that far, but I do like it right about like that. It, and it'll have, I think it'll look cool. I mean, honestly, I like the front out kind of, uh, and I'm still bleeding. I like the front pushed out look and in general um, of like real trucks and stuff. The uh, This whole thing, like that craziness where the rear is real far out, it looks cool on my six Jeep because that's kind of what they do and that's where you would push it out or whatever. But this, that looks weird for a truck. So I'd like to have it 50-50 just for ease. And I will try and bring it as far forward as I can. Um, but to me, what's more important is not just lopping this whole fender out. And then I've got to make like these big monster inner fenders, which I plan on putting inner fenders on anyway, but then I have to put monstrous inner fenders in it. And then I'd almost need like a tube fender or something, which I, I could do. And I may do anyway, that's kind of cool. But, uh, anyway, this is kind of how that's going to sit. That's the gist of that right now. So, uh, that's really all I can do until I'm waiting on some brazing stuff. I used to have it and I can't find it. So I probably lent it to someone and then um, I never got it back. Meh, I'll buy another one. So I'm waiting on some brazing stuff and then I'm gonna take the cage. I think what I'm gonna end up doing, or I'm gonna end up doing was, or is, uh, I'm gonna use this roll bar here as like a rear body mount. So I'm gonna cut it here and cut this all off and just use this rear body or this roll bar, I guess. And I may cut the bed sides off and I may leave them and just pinch them in and I'll cut all this stuff off and everything. And I'll probably cut the bed out and then chop the tailgate and then bring everything in and I'll use the actual roll bar here in the body. I'm gonna try to carry that over into some brake line and make that my main rear hoop 
uh, and then I'll mount something on it with like some magnets here or something, or maybe I'll do some magnets down here on the sliders. That way the body sits down on this. Down on this! Down on this! It's got some support here on the sliders, and then I'll put magnet mounts up here at the hood. Um, that way it's kind of locked in. And maybe do, I don't know, something in the rear. Uh, I'm not real sure yet, but we'll get to that part whenever whenever we finally get there because that's, that's a long ways away. Um, I still have a lot of cage work to do and a lot of other things to do and set up. Uh-oh. Damn it. I think it's my steering link. That's no bueno. We'll figure that out too. But. Anyway, um, for rolling chassis with the transmission and the transfer case and everything, like I said, it does have huge tires, but I think even with a little smaller tire, that's a pretty good side side to side center of gravity. I mean, it chills. You could still have, you know, you still have the batteries and the batteries are gonna be nice and low kind of down here on the sliders. So the only thing that's really gonna be is I'm gonna try and build the brake line. I have plenty of solid rod. I just don't really feel like filling the whole back of this thing up with solid rod, even though it's only gonna be probably one hoop, a crossbar, diagonal, couple bed bars. That's still a lot. And with the weight savings of brake line over that, I mean, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a decent amount, so. That's my plan. Uh, now I just realized that this hits my steering link. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Uh, I may have to, well, this doesn't stack very much anyway. It's gonna come down. I don't know, we'll figure that out. We may have to, may have to canoodle a different, I don't know, it will figure it out. That's down the road. We have to build a different bumper. We have to do something. So for now, that's out. Well, wonderful YouTube people, that is all for this video. It is long enough. You've heard me talk. You've seen the man, the myth, and the wonderfulness. And I cannot do anything else until I get some brazing stuff. So this is on a pause, but I have 37 other things to do. So it's okay. I appreciate you watching because then I'm not freezing my ass off out here in the garage late at night, by myself, for no reason. And that makes me happy. Have a good day. I appreciate you. I'll see you later.